South Africa plunged deeper into crisis than ever before. For 11 days now, the government of that country has ruled with unprecedented emergency powers of arrest, detention and police action. South Africa is now a police state. An estimated 3,000 people are in prison without trial. Is that they have prevented people coming in and out of buildings and uh, they... Um, that's my car, I've got to go. I'm, okay. They've detained two people and they won't say what reason they're holding them under. The press and the foreign media in South Africa have been subject to some of the most rigorous censorship anywhere in the world. All staff members and people who have business in the building are allowed to go into the building except the press. Any detailed reporting of the state of emergency is deemed subversive and is punishable by up to 10 years in jail. Off you go. Now, immediately. Thank you. What is this sign? What regulation is this? Under section 50, we request you to leave immediately now. Section 50. Right, off you go. Thank you, James. Section 50. No further comment. In the face of this censorship, World in Action has smuggled a camera into Soweto. At a bush camp outside Pretoria, these recruits are being put through their paces by an ex-Rhodesian army officer. His particular talents now much in demand. Coin security, short for counter-insurgency, is just one of a growing number of security firms in South Africa. It has over 2,000 men in uniform. With the growing threat of urban violence, they are deployed each night in the white suburbs. Unarmed but well-trained, they supplement a regular police force that is both overstretched and undermanned. The white retreat into the lager is all too visible in the northern suburbs of Johannesburg. Faced with political uncertainty and a rising crime rate, a fortress mentality has taken over. White insecurities counted by gates and guard dogs, along with some of the most sophisticated security systems on the market. This will set you back around 2,000 pounds, panic alarms installed throughout the house. At this control center, the call is monitored and assistance dispatched. Really An increase, too, in executive protection. Them. Colonel Roy Jackson turns out protection yeah. professionals, VIP bodyguards for South Africa's business community. Uh, now, some people speak Spanish and some people speak English and some speak, people speak Italian, but all of them speak shotgun. Universal language. They say that if you, if you hear the shotgun in the dock, and uh, I might just show you that, you would, they say everybody understands that language. But for most whites, security is far more low-key. Robin Gunter on patrol, part of a neighborhood block watch. More and more white communities are banding together to police their own suburbs. We're not vigilantes, we're not apprehending any criminals. Um, we, we're just looking after, in a neighborly fashion, each other's property. The white lifestyle may be under siege, but even under a state of emergency, it continues intact. However, more and more people are coming to realize that it won't go on forever. And the lives these people are leading will inevitably affect their own. Peter Sharp, News at 10 in Johannesburg.